Hi, it's Mike and Gwen, your Classy Stampers, and boy are we excited about this. This is the new Eagle Peace image from Earth Arts International. Uh, we're going to be using several products to make this wonderful card. The first product we're going to be using is the Cut and Dry Stamp Pad Foam. It's the foam, not the felt. Right. You want to remember that? We're going to be using Memento Ink, and we're going to be using the Brilliance Ink Re... The Re-Inkers. The Re-Inkers. Yeah. Brilliance Ink Re-Inkers. Ink Re-Inkers. The Re-Inkers. The rinkers. Okay. Okay. So, first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a stamp pad. So we're going to take a, a stamp pad, the uh, cut and dry stamp pad foam, and Gwen is going to ink up the uh, peace sign, the eagle peace image, with memento ink, and she's going to create an image on the uh, uh, pad foam. And what I've done, and you'll see why, before oh, look at that. Mounted, it's very, very light image on it. Real light image. I've marked where the claws are as well as the top of the The foot. top of the deal. That's and very clever. And you'll see very why. Very smart. You'll okay. see why I did that when we're done. Okay. Go ahead and you can cut this out. You can you... cut this out. Uh, this is now going to be your new stamp pad. Gwen, lovely job cutting. Look at her. It's almost square. That's what it is. It doesn't matter. doesn't matter as long as you've got that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the, uh, uh, re the, the Brilliance Re-Inkers and we're going to put some color onto our uh, stamp pad. Now you're going to just that's put... Like, that's looking very thick. Does it usually come out like that? It's real thick. What you it's have to thick. do is work it into your custom stamp pad. Okay, work it into your custom stamp pad. That's a very nice color. This is the gold. We're using the gold here. We're going to be using gold, and the other two colors are? Uh, silver. Silver and, and bronze. And bronze. So you don't have to worry about getting in and out of lines because you're just going to be laying. This is just a stamp pad. So It's a correct. stamp pad. So the ink will sink in. Oh. I was totally amazed when you showed me the image of this. Now this is the bronze that you're doing. And because it's a pigment ink, it doesn't run. It doesn't run because it's pigment. Would it go wee 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 if it was running? Yes, it would. All the way okay. home. All the way home. Okay, and you want to go okay. ahead and just work it in. Where you're working it in so you don't leave the big blobs up there. Okay, it looks good. Very interesting. Once again, remember, this is just the stamp pad. And when you're done with the stamp pad... When, absolutely. When you're done with it, there's still going to be plenty of ink left in it. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you put that in a Ziploc bag. And if you put it in a Ziploc bag, you, uh, it, it, it will stay moist and then you can use it over and over again. Okay, what I do suggest is... Shake this stuff very violently. Make several images. Yeah. Stamp several images because it does take a while to dry. Uh -huh. You don't have a lot of ink left in this bottle, but there should be enough. Okay, and then when you do stamp it, you want to make sure you let it dry. Probably overnight would be a good thing. It'd be a really good thing. Yeah. You can use a heat tool, but you need to be really careful not to burn it. Can you use a hair dryer you on it? You can use a hair dryer on this because it doesn't get that hot. Okay, so okay. once again, hair dryer or a heat tool. But if you're using a heat tool, make sure you don't, don't burn anything with it because it is going to get hot and you just want to dry it. Or do the easiest thing and just let it sit let overnight. Let it sit overnight. Yeah. Because you, you can, can get back to it the next day. You can see this thing's pretty thick. And before you ever put the image to it, you want to get all the globs out of here. Get the globs out of it before the image goes to it. You don't need to worry about staying in the lines. It's ink. It's ink. And again, it's not going to run. So we've got pretty much our ink pad made. Okay. A few globs there. Now, what kind of paper are you going to be putting this on? We're putting this on black glossy. Black glossy. Oh, man, I love black glossy. Well, just pop. So there's our image. Okay. So okay. here's our stamp pad. We're right. ready. Here, here we go. I'm going to square that up a little bit. Maybe move it over here because I'm getting a little glow off the light. There we go. Okay, so we're going to take our stamp pad. And remember, I made the little marks. Right there. And because this is a circle. Uh-huh. It allows me to line up the three claws. Okay. And I pretty much know where they are. Where the color is. Yeah, you were in the camera. Okay, so. There you go. Just kind of pat it up and down a few times, check out your this color. This is the one time when you would uh, take actually the stamp to the pad. Yeah, it's much easier yeah. in this technique. Okay, so now you've got your glossy piece of paper down there. 
Now, make sure you don't slip, so you want to drop it straight down. You want to go straight down because the, the, uh, the then, terrible factor on glossy paper is you tend to slip if you don't uh, do it hard. You're pressing firmly? Firmly. Okay. Pick it up. There you go. Oh, and there man, you go. that is gorgeous. Look at that. Now, then you can go ahead and use the same pad yeah. for the word, and you can get more than one color. Just kind of pick a spot. Double check it that you've got ink on the whole stamp. Peace. And there you go. There you go. That is absolutely gorgeous. So you can go ahead and put your, let it dry, set it aside, layer it as you wish. Yeah, make sure you want to let it stay overnight, let and, it dry. And there you go. Perfect.